My name is Easton LaChapelle and I'm the founder and CEO of Unlimited Tomorrow. Unlimited Tomorrow's mission is to create advanced technology for a fraction of the cost at a global level. Uh, we're, we're first starting with prosthetic devices and we're using today's newest technologies like 3D printing, artificial intelligence, um, new sensors and electronics to bring this whole new world of prosthetic devices that's intuitive and human-like. So anybody around the world can afford this and use it to their full extent. I actually started creating long before I had an interest in prosthetics. I was bored and tinkering in my bedroom around age 14 and uh, started making these robotic hands in my bedroom and started advancing these to full robotic arms. Eventually I entered these into science fair and uh, that's where a big moment happened. I met this small seven-year-old girl that had a prosthetic limb from the elbow to the fingertip, one motion open close, and I found out kind of the whole process of, of how she received that device as well as the cost and that cost was about $80,000. So that was kind of my aha moment and what got me into prosthetics. Uh, today, there, there's, there's still a couple of things that I see that are missing, and a lot of it is really the human element behind it. It's making it look organic and human-like, uh, you know, really matching the person as close as possible. And with 3D printing, it gives us the ability to make something customized and truly unique to that person. I started using SolidWorks probably when I was about 15 years old, um, and SolidWorks was a really amazing tool. When I think about creating, it's turning these rough ideas into reality, and you need a tool to go from what's in your head to maybe paper or to a 3D model. And um, for me, SolidWorks was the most intuitive process for that. Uh, it was extremely easy to learn. And like a lot of things, there's, there's a lot of different ways that you can design a part. And so that gave me the ability to just explore and play around with SolidWorks um, until I, I kind of had a grasp on it. I actually taught myself SolidWorks. Um, it was a lot of trial and error, um, making very, very simple parts, and then over time, you know, started learning more and more features. As uh, you know, as new additions come out for SolidWorks, uh, it, it allows us to use more features that you know kind of change our design philosophy in a way that we can do more and more with it as we learn. Something I'm really passionate about in design technology and using SolidWorks is optimizing our designs for additive manufacturing and really looking at how we can push the boundaries of design. Um, for example, as, te as technology changes with 3D printing becoming better and better in new materials, um, it really changes what we can actually design and what we can include in our designs. For example, we could actually print some of the joints assembled so there's less uh, hand assembly that we have to do. and Or maybe make it look more human-like and organic and really looking at how do we create really nice surfaces within SOLIDWORKS. Um, so there's, there's a lot of tools that are coming out that really help us you know, really push this design to the limits. So at Unlimited Tomorrow, we, we decided to create an Indiegogo campaign called All Hands on Deck. And the goal of this is to raise money to be able to give away the first 100 units that we make. So we'll give these, these 100 units away to a uh, majority of children, some adults, and people overseas so we can refine and really test our, our model. And the big thing about this is creating a scalable process that we can work with people down the street or in a completely different country.